You may recognize Dr. Anthony Yoon. He is all over social media and these are the type of videos that he makes. This beautiful young woman applied expired acne or dark spot treatments to her face. It started to burn so she washed it off and then steamed her face afterwards. You can see she developed some severe partial thickness and even almost a full thickness burn up there. She did take four days before she went to the hospital. She was diagnosed with a bacterial infection and that could have gone into her bloodstream. The good news is, is that she has healed from it. She looks fantastic. Please don't apply expired products onto your face. Aside from all of this, I saw him on a podcast on Ever Forward Radio and I learned so much that I thought I should share it with you because truly, these are the fundamentals, the foundations of everything you need to know about skincare. I look at really five main issues that can occur causing our skin to age more quickly. The first thing is nutrient depletion. Mm -hmm. Second thing is inflammation. Third thing is uh, oxidation or free radicals. Uh, the fourth thing is collagen degradation. And the fifth thing is buildup of cellular waste. When you look at all of these things, what you have to eat impacts pretty much all of right, them. Right, yeah. Uh, Diet so, influences everything you just said. Exactly. So now... You to put it simply, truly, you are what you eat. What I personally got out of this video is the danger to some sunscreens that you may be using. And if she wants to use a chemical sunscreen, then use right. one without oxybenzone and octanoxate. B, the foundations of a simple skincare routine that can work for anyone, especially for those who do not have the time and like me are into minimalism. Before you start looking at interventions, I always encourage skincare because you can get profound. If you combine mm -hmm. those first three things, what to eat, we can talk about when to eat in a little bit if you want, um, and then supplements, and you combine that with skincare, the vast majority of people can get such a nice change in their skin wow. that they don't need to get laser treatments. They don't need to get Botox or any of that type nice of stuff. Nice being what? They, they look youthful? You, can, get, you can look five to 10 years younger potentially. Wow. You give it a good you know, three to six months by focusing on those four things and you can make some huge changes. And then there's sugar. So a lot of people think of sugar and they go, oh, you eat a lot of sugar, you eat a lot of carbs, you're gonna gain weight, you're gonna, you know, it's met metabolically, it makes you unhealthy. But what a lot of people don't realize is that sugar is a great ager of our skin mm -hmm. as well. So the sugar can impact our skin by causing chronic inflammation in two different ways. The first way is glycation. So sugar can bond to the collagen and the elastin in your skin, causing it to become deformed. The way he breaks this down is if you can think of a brick house and slowly as you get older in your 30s, this brick house, the foundation in between the bricks are not as sturdy. And so they're losing a little bit of the structure and what sugar does and why it messes so much with collagen is that it sticks itself in between all of these bricks and sometimes it's not as leveled as the grout used to be so things get lumpy and that is the reason why sugar is on his list of number one things that will harm and age your skin quickly. And if you put collagen, a collagen cream on your skin, it will do nothing, nothing because it's too big because our skin is a barrier and the skin is made. It's made basically to keep out things we don't want in our body. But we want <sighs> collagen in our body. But collagen is a large protein and it's going to sit on the surface because there's no way for it to actually penetrate through. But a while ago, there was a trend and this trend was all about drinking collagen. And to be honest with you, this is not something I thought was going to be a thing that actually helps with anti-aging but now we come to find out that collagen when it is ingested actually works and does help rebuild what is slowly getting lost in terms of the structure that you want to keep tight as this is a big controversy online where you know i yeah um is there collagen in there no, there's not. <laughs> I have actually posted on collagen and saying, you know, I'm a believer in collagen supplements, 
Uh, and I've had doctors and other fitness people say, oh, that's BS. It doesn't do anything. A lot of people, especially in the fitness industry, will say collagen is one of the most useless supplements. Yeah. And the interesting thing is that they're totally wrong. So let me explain. So collagen is a large protein. Uh, and, the, and the reason why people say that it doesn't work is because it's such a large protein. You ingest it. It gets broken down in your stomach. You go, how do you even know it's going to get to your skin? Um, so the fact is, if you're going to get a collagen supplement, you should get hydrolyzed collagen peptides. Mm -hmm. So what is that? Well, essentially, you take that collagen, large protein. I forgot to mention, it's the hydrolyzed. The hydrolyzed part is important when you're looking to buy these collagen peptides. And you break it down into individual peptides and amino acids. Amino acids are the individuals. Peptides are a group of mm -hmm. amino acids, usually a small number of them. The reason why they call them hydrolyzed, the reason why they break it down in that is so that you can actually absorb it. And so your intestine can actually, your, your gut can actually absorb that. I was also really happy to learn that laser red light treatments actually work. What would be the best bang for our buck in terms of actually doing something beneficial for our skin and anti-aging? Yeah, so the first thing that I would look at would be red light therapy. That would be the easiest thing. The one that I have is great because you could walk around with it. You have to charge it. If there's one thing that I will commend this mask for is that the lifetime is crazy. It's still powering on. Again, this is a rechargeable LED mask that you could literally walk around the house with as you're treating your face. So I want to give you guys a gist of how badly this needs to be maintained do you see the level of dust and again this is my fault but the maintenance and i guess life is just all about maintaining but because he mentions that the led mask actually helps it gives me a lot of comfort that i bought this a while ago it is the boost the light salon you could get this at netta and it really does the job every day especially if you use it twice a day and it automatically turns off in 10 minutes once the treatment is done for those of you who are interested in a super super simple skincare routine where all of the aging benefits are included all he suggests and i completely agree is cleansing of the face at night then a retinol and then a cream good night and for the daytime it's cleansing the face a vitamin c and then a sunscreen what do you mean by very basic skincare routine um so basic skincare routine if this is something that anybody can do it literally takes two minutes okay a day um and it will cover pretty much whatever you need okay so the first thing is you cleanse your skin in the morning you want to use a cleanser appropriate for your skin type so if you've got oily skin, then you want to use like a foaming type of a cleanser. Mm -hmm. If you've got really dry or sensitive skin, then you want to go with a more milky or hydrating cleanser. Uh, Interesting. After that, you want to use a vitamin C or an antioxidant serum. Usually vitamin C is the most common one, okay? Uh, antioxidant serum, you know, antioxidants fight free radicals. Oxidation is one of the agers of our skin. And then I do recommend a sunscreen. The thing that popped out though is when he mentioned that when it comes to a vitamin C, it works the best when it's combined with a vitamin E. Here's a little tip, like a biohack tip. If you add vitamin E to it, then it's synergistic with vitamin C. So what kind of enhances the bioavailability? Um, it actually enhances their antioxidant activity oh, synergistically. Wow. Really? So it's more than just applying two, it's, it's even better. So it kind of enhances both. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So vitamin C and E, and there are some that are made with both. Mm -hmm. That's what you want to look at, vitamin C and E. While we're on the topic of vitamin C, I also made a video about prequel. And this one product is just something I want to talk about really quickly because the pricing is great for prequel, which is Samantha Ellis, a dermatologist founded brand. And at this point, this doesn't even pump. And when it does pump, it's so orange and oxidized that it starts smelling strange and vitamin C should be clear. It should not be this color because this just means that it's made too much contact with air and the outside world that the effects are just not going to do what it's supposed to to its mass. It's supposed to help with oxidation and this is already oxidized. So 
Now this is a little bit of a sneak peek into next week's video. We have been gifted a bunch of things, but mostly we want to test the Banisher 3.0 micro needle. We have a dark spot corrector with vitamin C and E, exactly what we were looking for. Ingredients are extremely minimal, so we will report back and discuss everything we need to about Banish an acne company. For those of you who have used SkinCeuticals, they have a ferulic E acid. So that's the vitamin E combined with the vitamin C. To be honest, I have used SkinCeuticals and that's not something I would ever recommend anyone pay $180 for. So here are some other options of skincare brands that I can attest because I have tried and they do the same thing in terms of just giving you the ascorbic acid vitamin C and is combined with a vitamin E. It's actually very commonly done and you'll see this with Paula's Choice. And then when it comes to sunscreen, this may be something everyone already knows, but for me, I really understand now what the difference between a chemical sunscreen and a physical sunscreen is. Where if you remember Zuckerberg in the water with his face all white, that's a physical where it's basically a layer of cream that protects the sun from penetrating physically versus a chemical where the cream gets absorbed into the skin and the ingredients within counterbalance the sun so it gets blocked. There are two types of sun, sun, of sun protection. There are chemical sunscreens and physical sun blocks. Okay, mm. physical sun blocks are made with zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Those are the ones that, you know, I grew up and you'd see like a lifeguard with this white paste on their Just nose. plastered on. Yeah, yeah. And so physical sunblocks literally will block the sun's rays from hitting your skin. Okay. Um, for your children, we usually recommend this, the, the uh, sunblocks, mm. the physical blockers, right. because, you know, we don't want anything messing with their, yeah. their hormones. If she wants to use a chemical sunscreen, then use right. one without oxybenzone and octanoxate. Okay. Oxybenzone and octioxide? oxybenzone we are going to look at the vacation ink sunscreens to make sure that the chemical sunscreens that i've been using on the daily religiously do not contain those two things and i'm going to figure out how they are spelled breathing it into their lungs oh, and these are potential hormone disruptors like it he's talking about the sprays the suns the spf sprays that i am very much against Spray it into your hand and then rub it on them. Okay, okay. Yeah. At this point, I'm so paranoid. The two ingredients that we are avoiding, octanoxite and oxybenzone. So all of the vacation sunscreens are good to go. They all use these four active ingredients, none of which we are severely avoiding. So I have inspected one, two, three, their oil, their face spray. If you go to my video again, you'll know which ones are my buys and then my avoids. These are all good to go, including their many, many times sold out orange jelly. Now, the one product, you guys, is La Rose Posay, which is shocking because you'll see that the oxybenzone, which is the one we're avoiding, is at 3.46, which isn't awful, but why? because the other ones have avoided the specific, very harmful ingredient when it comes to interacting with our hormones. And then I just wanna share some mineral, aka physical sunscreens. I love this tinted sunscreen. I can do a video where I apply these products. And then we have Prequel. I don't love the way this smells, but they also have a mineral sunscreen that does the job. Then we have this cute little collab that was a uh, salt and stone with Stussy. And honestly, the way that it's aged is horrible. You'll see that it's completely dried out. So this needs to go in the garbage. I did a whole review about Vacation Ink sunscreen. So 
Go to that video if you want to see kind of my take on the dangers of especially the spray bottles. And he goes into it too for other reasons, but please stay away from the SPF spray bottles because what's being sprayed out is A, alcohol, first ingredient, and it's just not good for you where the protection you need can be applied through just literally squeezing it out of a tube. It's these spray bottles that are an issue. We actually have in my book, it's a 21 day jumpstart where we cleaned up the diet. Okay, so literally 21 days, okay, where we clean up the diet, we focus on those foods we just talked about. Um, we had them intermittent fast for weeks two and three, just two days a week. We had them uh, take those basic supplements we just mentioned and then a very basic skincare plan. We put them on it for three weeks and the amount of changes that we would see in literally three weeks was fascinating, it was astounding. And now we all know that fasting is great and apparently the body just heals itself. So the longer it suffers and you don't feed the body, it starts to heal and heal and heal and regenerate. He talks about a 21 day jump start. Let's look into it because we may experiment and I will be the guinea pig. If you have access though to a med spa or a doctor or something and you want good bang for your buck, the thing I would look at would be IPL. Uh, IPL stands for intense pulse light. It's similar to a laser, but it's much less expensive. And it's really, really good at getting rid of dark spots or mm. age spots. How much more or less expensive? For someone with a skincare channel, it's a little embarrassing to say that I have never gotten a facial before. That may change soon, but this laser treatment he talks about is supposed to be great for hyperpigmentation. And for someone like me who is swimming almost every single day, I'm starting to notice spots on my face as I get older. And this is something that I am keeping an eye on. So general recap, it's all about you are what you eat. He also talks about how fermented food, kimchi is so good for you. Everyone knows this nowadays. And sugar is bad. So these are the things that you must know and just keep in mind when you're buying skincare products. So eating foods that are fermented that you can then help to support the microbiome. A lot of people know that there's a microbiome, that there's like a gut uh, brain axis, that the health of the gut will impact the health of the brain, but there's actually a gut skin axis too. Ooh, all and right. so the health of the gut will impact the health of the skin. And so once again, eating microbiome boosting foods like fermented foods, and, and I always recommend a daily probiotic as well, I okay. think is very helpful. So that those are two ways to really help reduce inflammation. Because you do not want to one day regret what you have been applying into your skin because it's hard to believe, but everything is absorbed. Even if it's a topical, it is something that gets penetrated into your body. So please be mindful because these things may not seem harmful, but just like back in the day with the baby powder and the talc, it may be more harmful than you may think and it's so easily avoidable.